Okay, I was having some fun, and I had this idea called the high cost of living. And I tried, I'd written a song, which I'll play in a little bit, I'd written a song called In My Daughter's Eyes, and I'd written that alone, and it'd been, come a big hit for me. And I thought, well, I can write this song alone, High Cost of Living. But that's the thing about writing, you know, sometimes God or whoever it is wants you to co-write it. So I sat around trying to write High Cost of Living because I had that success within my daughters and I could not write it alone. I had to live that life. And I happened to meet a couple weeks later in Nashville this crazy ex-Marine from Montgomery, Alabama. And his name was Jamie Johnson. Yeah. So I was like, I met him and we're two opposite people, man. You know, I grew up in Central America, um, spoke Spanish, he was a Marine, crazy, he lived some pretty hard living. But I told him that title and thank God he said, man, I want to write that song with you. So we took about two days to write it, never thinking, and he brought the first, last verse back, but there's some verbiage in there about cocaine and a whore and everything, you're going to hear that. <laughs> and he's like, Slater, we're never going to get this thing on the radio, you know. And I was like, look, man, let's just write the truth. Whatever it is, the truth. And so, yeah, you know, and so what happened was we wrote it, and then he got a record deal. He'd had that big hit with George Strait, Give It Away, I Can't Give It Away. And he had gotten a record deal, and he put out a song called In Color, incredible song called In Color. Wish I'd written that. But the next single, they called us and said, High Cost Living's going to be put out. We're like, no way. He got it on the radio, went up to about 35, and they said, if you take out the last verse, we can play this and shoot it up the charts. And he said, I can't, I can't change it. So it didn't go up that high in the charts, but it did get a Grammy nomination for Country Song of the Year. The only problem is it was about six years ago we were up against Taylor Swift that year. So Taylor was, man, she was on fire, on fire. And uh, we lost to her, but man, we had a great ride. And to this day, man, so many people have sent me emails and we've had such a blessing to this song. It's really an anti-drug, anti, you know, it's just, it's about walking the straight line, excess, but in moderation. So I'm gonna do you my version, but in a Leon Russell vibe. Is that okay with y'all? Here we go. Now those of you that heard this know it's a lot slower, but I gotta give it that Leon thing.
that went through my head. Laying on that motel bed, watching as the cops kicked in the door. I had a job and a piece of land. My sweet wife was my best friend, but I traded that for cocaine and a whore. With my newfound sobriety, I've had the chance to sit and think of all the things I had and I threw away. This prison is much colder than the one I was locked up in with Tom Shepard. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's really the lyric. <laughs> this prison is much colder than the one I was locked up in with Tom Shepard and Donnie Brewer yesterday. It ain't nothing like the cost of a little high. Said the high cost of living. It ain't nothing like the cost of a little high. I wanna hear you sing it. Sing it to the gods. I said the Give it up for Tom Shepard. The reason you all are here. Woo! We have had so much fun together. We